Okay, so for this part, we're going to uh, go ahead and do the side of the car here. And you can see we have our front part done. And it ended right here, so we're going to make the side start here. And then we're going to model the back separately so it'll end around right here. So we're going to model about that much of the car for this part with this next piece that we're going to make. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my wireframe on Shaded. And make sure. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my grid as well. So turn that off. And so now we're going to get started on making the side. So we're just going to start out the same way as last time, making a, a poly primitive a cube. And we'll go ahead and scale it up here. And scale it down on the side viewport to get a rough estimate of how it should fit. Scale it out this way a little bit. And now we're going to add some uh, some divisions here. So we're going to need at least two put in a subdivision width, so at least one line coming down the center so that we can delete half of it and only have to worry about half of it. And then we're going to uh, increase it a little bit more though. I'm going to give it four. And actually I need to turn back on my wireframe on shaded so I can see about how many edges I'm going to need to uh, attach it to this piece right here. So for height, we'll go ahead and give it probably four as well. And now for depth, we can go ahead and give it something around seven which looks like it'll work just fine. And so now we can go ahead and delete the parts we don't need. So we'll just select the faces and delete. We're not going to need these front faces here because we're only modeling the side of the car. We already have the front model. So we can delete those. We can delete these faces in here in the back because we're going to model the back of the car separate, so select those and delete them. And we can go ahead and get rid of this row here, just because it's going to be on the bottom of the car, we're not going to be able to see it. So delete those. And now we're ready to uh, start giving it some shape. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and Actually, we're going to bring these down here and these down here so we can match it to the front a little bit and we'll work our way to the back. So now on the top, we'll select these. And I guess I missed these back here. Not very important right now, but... And actually, select this row here. Bring it in. And this row is going to need to connect to uh, this edge right here because looking at it, we can see we want this edge right here to connect about right here on the car, this corner right here, of where we carved out this part for the trunk. So we'll go ahead and select these and move them back. And we're just going to go ahead and snap it right now. I'm going to snap this right here. And so now we can go ahead and start uh, shaping out the tire a little bit here. But we're going to see that we have this line right here kind of shooting up so there's going to be this big hole for our little wheel cover. So to fix that, what we're going to need to do is uh, select the front piece and use our, uh, our split polygon tool here. And we're just going to take it from this side 
over through the trunk and then down here. We're not going to split it along that way, so we'll go ahead and do this. Now we can select this vertex here. And we can pull it down so that there's not a giant hole there, but we're going to bring it forward to act more like an edge right here as well. So we'll bring that forward. We'll bring it out in the top viewport there. Now we're going to try and match the, uh, the flow of the lines here a little bit better. But now we have the straight line going there, so let's see if we can fix it by just moving this over a little bit more and up. And that looks like it'll work when it's rounded off. And we'll just go ahead and check this part right here. Looks like it needs to be brought up a little bit now. Maybe this piece does too. So something about like that now. And now I can select, uh, get this out of the way here. Select this vertex, and this will be where our wheel starts to take shape now. Or a little cutout for it. So, go ahead and select these here. Move this row down, select this row, move it down as well. Now we can start placing ones like this right here. We'll probably put this at the top of where the, this little vent right here starts. It comes all the way to the front of the wheel right, or to this front part right here where the wheel is first cut away. So we're going to start lining these up that way now. Just putting these along the top edge. like that. And we'll worry about uh, rounding it off a little bit later. But we can see we need to bring this row over now to make room for this last row. So this will just continue up here. Maybe this here will make for the middle we'll bring it right down the center of the little vent that's cut out there about like that again trying to keep these flowing nicely Continue uh, matching it up down the center here to the front part of the car. I'll probably have to go back and adjust those towards the back a little bit now that I've made adjustments up here, which we will. Something about like that, maybe. We can go ahead and bring this part down. And bring this up a little bit. More like that. And I'm not worried about uh, this being flat right now. We're going to mess with that part later.
Alright. Now I can go ahead and start uh, moving these in a little bit here in the top viewport to match where this window, sort of how it aligns up. Just bring these over. And I'm going to go ahead and match them in the side viewport now too. So let's see this one needs to be brought up. So our window and this little uh, sort of bridge for the glass is going to come right along through here. So we can start to see how that's going to look. And now we're just start moving this row out here, making it line up a little bit better. You can see in the side viewport is going to this row is going to need to be brought down a little bit. And in the top, you can see it's going to need to be brought out. So go and do that. There we go, and bring this one out more too. Because it gets wider towards the back. A little more like that. Then we can go ahead and just fix this row. And again, we're going to mess with uh, how flat this is later. Right now, we're not worried about it. We'll match this up with the very edge right here. So, since this is brought way down here, like that. So really we're just going in here one CV at a time, just tweaking them little by little. So that's looking, looking fine. I'm going to go ahead and line this up with the very edge here too, because it looks like maybe it starts dropping down right there. So we'll bring it to the outermost part in the top viewport, just like we did the row above it. But we're still going to need to uh, bring these down a little bit. So 
So now this part of the car is starting to look about right. Now we're down to this vent part already. And this outer part of it is probably probably going to uh, stick out quite a bit. But it's going to start coming in too. So it's going to stick out more than where it starts caving in, obviously. But probably not quite as much as it is sticking out up here at the top. So I we'll want to bring this in just a little bit. Go ahead and look at it in the perspective. Or we can look at it in the front too. So maybe something like that. Not really noticeable. Now we'll actually probably want to do it in the top viewport. something for how it's going now and get more closer to the edge as we get to the back and the car gets wider back here so it's just barely going in now something like that perhaps Let's go back and tweak it more later. And now we're going to start giving this a bit better of a shape. So we'll bring this back like that. And this will probably come out to the very edge again. Like that. Try and bring this back like that. And since these are, this one here is in, we can go and push this way in if we wanted to. But we're actually not going to do that because we're going to uh, extrude these faces here to make this vent. So for now we'll just leave it like this. So follow the bottom contour line right here. Maybe it's like sticking all the way out for this part too before it cuts back in right there. So now if we select these vertices, we see we need to bring these in or out rather. Gonna take a look at the side here. select all of them and move them over like that and then these need to be brought up towards the back here to make this line right here this little crease and it looks like this crease stops about right there 
just want to leave it, that vertex there alone. But these need to come in a little bit. And they, it looks like they're going more as you get to the back, this part of the tire right here. So as we get further back here, they're be pushed inside a little bit more. Something just like that. And then to make this part here, we're just going to uh, select the edges. You can see in this viewport here. I'm going to want to bring them down, so I'm going to extrude these edges here. Just go ahead and bring it straight down. I'm going to extrude it one more time. And bring it in for the inside part there. These edges here look like they need to be extruded in as well. And brought it down just a tad bit to make this very bottom line there. Something about like that. Go back into our vertice selection mode. And bring this down and out now. Maybe like that. And of course I forgot to uh, merge these, so we'll do that real quick. Actually, just undo these real quick. Alright. So merge these vertices. Now there should be one vertex there. Alright, now we'll bring this down again. And out, about like that. Do the same thing with this one here. These need to be brought in even more. Especially right around there. And there's that. And this vertex here can be snapped right there and stuck in this one. And so now I can push these here and bring these in. These like that and bring them down. These like that one bring these two down. Now just this bottom one down. So now I got this little, uh, this part of the car cut out right here. And you could have just extruded some faces as well, but I chose to do it that way. You can just remerge these now. 
since I did uh, snap some of them together right there. And so now we have the basic uh, contour of the side down, basic shape. We can play with it a little bit more if we want to. And I might do just a little bit more tweaking here. Bring this out there. Something more like that. For the front there. So now we got it something more like that. And we can uh, smooth that out. Take a look at how it's going to be. There's some vertices snapped right there, it looks like. But overall, it looks like it's working for us. See, there's two of them right there. So merge those. Got to merge these. It's looking better. But maybe uh, it's still not quite working. We didn't quite get what we wanted there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these down just a little bit more right here. get a little bit more definition going on there. Make sure they're sticking out enough. Bring these up a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on this little vent here on the side. So we're going to do that by extruding faces. So we're just going to go ahead and select all these right here. And this vent actually starts all the way up here at the front. So right behind this little wheelbase right there. But we're going to start it right here, and any more of the vent if we need, we're just going to work with these edges that we already have. So with these faces selected, we're going to go ahead and do another extrude. Maybe the universal one. So we bring these way in for now. Scale them down and like and in. But actually, it's not extruded that much. Let's go ahead and extrude twice, though. So. Or no, I guess I'd extrude again later. So, anyways, we'll keep it like this for now. This will work. And we'll go ahead and select these faces. These extra the ones that we have. We don't want to do that. Just delete them. Those like so. And go ahead and merge these vertices because we know we're going to have multiple ones there from where the faces were deleted. So And now we're going to go ahead and start placing these. I'm just going to start at the back for no real reason. And 
and more or less, this is just going to be the, uh, the part of the car that cuts in. So we're not actually making a little hole there right now. We'll do that next. So it's probably a little too thick. I need to bring it back more. That looks better, I think. So I'll put that about there. About the same thickness. So about like that. The same thing for these up here. And now we're going to add the roundness to it. So bring these in as well. Move them up a little bit. Move that up a little bit more. Maybe go something more like that. Just working in the perspective for the most part here. Moving them over on the side. So about like that there then. I'm starting to start to see how this is taking shape too. And how we don't really want it cutting in a whole lot up here in the front. And take a look in the top viewport. See that was way too much. So now we're just going to, uh, I think we can get away with just selecting these faces here now. And extruding these again, so. And bring these over a bit like that. So now we can uh, select these extra faces again. Just delete them. And then merge the vertices again. So that we don't get any holes. And matches up at the very edge right here. 
probably going a little too much for the top. select these faces here in the back right there. I'm just going to delete them. So now, let's go ahead and uh, make sure all our vertices are merged again and see how this looks. And so it looked like that's working. So we have our nice little hole there now. We can turn off our wireframe if we want. And it looks like that'll work. So now we can undo the uh, turning it into a sub D and go ahead and start carving away pieces for this little door edge right here so we'll do that real quick we need our split polygon tool for that and see it's going to start about right here there. Bring it down here. Like so. another cut now. It's not letting me cut again, so bring this up here. And out to that edge there. Make that a cut. And you can't really see an edge for a door up here at the very or up here where it looks like there should be one. So what we're going to end up having to do is more or less just guessing. So we're just going to make one right there. You could, uh, the best thing to do would be to get online, find some pictures of the of the car that you're modeling, and uh, look at it from different angles and just look for yourself to see about how it should be, and then sort of draw it in yourself. But for this part. We're just going to go ahead and make up our own. So, looks like we can sort of see where it would be in the top. So, it should start about there and come to maybe about right here. It's over a little bit more, but I don't want to hit that edge right there. I'd have to move those vertices if I wanted to draw it there. So, now we're going to bring it back more. down like here. And bring it one more over. 
I like that. So we're going to make this whole section right here be part of our door then. So for I think I want to make one more cut actually. We'll bring it down one more. Or we'll bring it down to, to about right there. these and so there's the beginning of our of our door and we're going to end up uh, making it the exact same way we did our our trunk okay anyway so sorry about that so uh, now we have the uh, center of where we want our door edge to be and so we're just going to go ahead and make two more edges surrounding it on each side And there you go, there's that one. I'm just going to make another one now. You could have screwed those faces, but again, it's just going to leave you with more geometry than what you need, really. And if you feel you need more, normally what I do before I convert to sub D's is I go in here and I select all these faces and I just do a, a subdivide which is probably what we'll end up doing at the very end. So now we're ready to come in here and select these vertices. And move them down. And we'll probably move them towards the door. Like that.
So we're just going to go in one by one and do this for all of them. Because it's really fun to do. When you do it the slow way. Up towards the door and then in like the others. So it is tedious work, but uh, in the end, the final little details should make it all worthwhile. Hopefully, you won't feel like you wasted all this time. So now we have our door carved out. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. See what it will somewhat look like in the end. That looks alright. I think that will work. we get this little uh, dent right here. We can clean up later. Again, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. There are still two CVs. Let's change this to one. Merge those. Merge those. Alright. So we have our door cut out. It's time for the tricky part, which is actually the door handle here. And again, you can't really see it in the, the drawing here, except from the top view, you can see just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and get our uh, split polygon tool again. Looks like it starts right here, comes to here. Leave it like that for now. And yeah, I figures won't let me draw it there because there's no edge there. 
Let's end up like this. It's like this vertex. Actually, we'll make our own line. How about that? Let's come down about like this. And we're just gonna hide it back here. So we'll bring it there. It looks like maybe the door handle will be that sort of shape. I don't need the front part of it. So we'll go ahead and split this along this edge here. About like that. Bring that all the way around. Maybe like that. I'm just going to finish these edges off here. Maybe we want to go ahead and take a look to see that's, that that's not messing up anything up. You can see it doesn't really look like it is. There's a little bit of a line there now, but I'll always go back and fix that later. Everything was just fine right there. Undo that. Now let's select these faces here. We'll make up our little tent for our door handle. And we're going to uh, just extrude these back. Straight back and down. Now for this part, what we actually want to do is we're going to bring these up a little 
little bit. To help smooth out, make this more round. So more like that. Same thing over here. Now uh, do we want to snap this here? Or here? I'm gonna snap down here. So we'll select these edges here, or these vertices. Just snap them right down there. This will end up having to uh, come straight down. ugly in here, so let's go ahead and split this up. And we're just going to end up snapping these back. help clean this up a little bit. So now we take a look at our door and our little handle here. And it's looking a little messy. It's got emerges vertices. Oh, and I forgot I had it one still, so undo that. Point oh oh one. Maybe still need some cleaning up here.
so it's starting to it's starting to take shape. I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit, make it look smoother, I guess. conversion and now really the uh, handle part it's there's different ways to go about it you can just make it a, a separate cube which is probably what we might try doing here or you can extrude faces again I'm gonna try the cube real quick and see if it works if not then we'll go with the, another face extrusion but hopefully this way will work So, go ahead and give it two this way. Select these back faces here again and delete them. Now, go back into our vertex mode. Start scaling them down a little bit. more like that. Moving forward a little bit so it's more rounded up here and more sharp back here. And now we're just going to uh, let's turn on our wireframe unshaded this back and up. We're going to have it stick into the model a little bit. About like that. Do the same thing up here. going to want this to come out, so just a lot of uh, going back and forth, seeing what works, what doesn't.
don't know, maybe this will work for a handle, maybe it won't. There's really only one way to find out, so I'm going to test it out now. And if we do the same thing with the car bottom. From back here, I would say that works. So maybe we want to leave it, maybe not. We can always just go ahead and delete it also. And go with the face that's drooping. Which would just be actually no. Something more yeah, we'll go back to world it's true, or universal. Something more like that, and then you come in here, select the vertices. And just come in here and tweak them again. Lots of tweaking. Screw this out again. I'm take a look at it now. Oh, that's a little ugly. It needs a lot of work still. Or maybe 
Not to destroy this face here still. Screw it again. Like that. To this face here. Screw it in. Like that. Scale it down. And delete some of these faces we don't need. Although it is getting a little uh, unorganized at the moment. So it's still pretty ugly, maybe. You would rather do it the way with the cube. some of these. I should keep that one. So we'll go about some of these here. Try and somewhat clean these up just a little bit, I guess. But once you get the handle the way you like it, you're uh, pretty much done with this part.
And even though I pretty much messed this one all up, you get the basic idea. So this is probably going to not look all that great. And actually it's not even letting it convert. But maybe you like it, maybe you don't. So, that's pretty much it for this part. And now we're ready to start working on the back of the car.